What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we have a special guest. His name is Aaron. He's uh, coming up from West Virginia. He had originally put a comment on one of my videos. Uh, we've been friends for a long time, so I figured I'd invite him up to uh, do a video on exactly what he made the uh, comment about. So I recently did a video on a new uh, a tool set, beginner set for yeah. uh, new apartment owners or whatever, your first real toolkit. And one of the things he said was a Leatherman. So uh, we're about to talk about the Leatherman. If you're interested and uh, you want to hear more about it, stay tuned. All right, guys, so uh, Aaron, I'm gonna let him take it away here. Um, I wanna hear, this is kind of, you know, right off the rip. Uh, we didn't really prepare for this video, so I'm gonna put him on the spot here. Um, he's gonna tell us exactly why he recommends a Leatherman for a very first tool owner, or um, if nobody's ever even heard of a Leatherman, and you know, I'm gonna link this in the video uh, comment that we put before. Right. Say, hey, check out this video we did one specifically. So uh, let's go through Leatherman and exactly why you recommend it, why you would use it. All right, well, the first one would be, uh, truthfully, I just bought this minutes before the video. Um, we were at a local um, store here. What's the name of the town? I don't uh, know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, uh, this is a Leatherman Rev, and uh, I picked it up because it was it was fairly cheap. It was thirty two dollars, maybe give or take online. Right. You know. Um, and anyway, the point I was making was that uh, I'll try to remember a lot of the tools that you had in that bag that right. you did the video on. But my thought was this was thirty two bucks, and right off the bat. Two of the tools in the bag he mentioned was a flathead or a slot head screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. So right. we established it right there with that. Okay, so let me ask um, you this. I've been kind of thinking about it. Uh -huh. um, the Phillips is not really a Phillips. It's kind of like a flat bladed Phillips. Like, So does it really do well as a Phillips screwdriver? I think it does well enough. Okay. I think I think that if you already have a general grasp of how to use your hands and, and, and use tools, I think that you'll know, okay, back off, I need to get a real screwdriver. Okay. That's my thinking. Okay. Um, and, and I'll just kind of stop there by saying I don't think this uh, Leatherman is as good as any one fixed-handled uh, fixed Phillips screwdriver or needle-nose pliers. I don't think it in the long run eliminates having that standalone tool. Okay. But I think that Oh crap, I just got my first apartment. I only have 30 or 40 bucks. I can't go out and fill up a couple hundred dollar tool bag. Right. Um, right there can solve a lot of problems for you. And I agree, because I mean, the toolkit, I think we, we came out just over $300. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, uh, this takes care of quite a few tools all in one, you know. Yeah, so it's got the Phillips, the flat, like I said, um, needle nose pliers, and then I guess if you wanted to call that a regular pair of yeah, a regular um, player, pair of slip joint pliers. Slip joint pliers, which I hate. Okay, yeah. I hate a slip joint plier. But it I, still it has, I, its, has it has it has a small use. But I think there's better tools out there than a slip joint. But it's there. Yep. It's there. And then you have the cutters. You can, you know cut any type of wire. I don't know. I wouldn't cut a really hard steel with those cutters. But right. You know if you know your dog chewed your VCR cord in two. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and then you know it has the. Uh, uh, the regular knife blade. Regular knife blade. You know, if you're in a pinch, get a kitchen knife. Right. If you right. have to, but I mean, you know, if you don't already own a pocket knife or something, you're not willing to trash. I mean, that's what I use these blades for. Is that something I'm not going to do to my pocket knife or my kitchen knife. You're gonna. You're just. Gonna I could care less one. about these, and they're pretty tough. I, I own a lot of them, and I've never had one break. I can always sharpen them. And it's got a couple other tools. Um, it's got the can opener and a file, and uh, and I honestly don't I, know. I don't, what, we were both looking at this when we bought it. Neither one of us know what that. I'll roll in a picture of it here. I'm sure it um, says online or the box that I threw away. <laughs> is that a, is that a ruler on the back? It of is that? a small uh, ruler on what, the what back the of the. Uh, what are you measuring, like an uh, inch total? Like it's kind of goofy. I mean, I don't know what you would measure with that, but it says inches and centimeters. But at least you have some equal increments. 
Yeah, maybe if you needed to do it on a survival map or something. I guess that's what it's for, yeah. outdoorsman. Um, the clip, this is one of the options that have a clip, yeah. which seems kind of flimsy to me. But, but it'll go in your pocket. But you could also just stick it in your pocket or a bag. Um, I really, I like it. I think for the money I gave for this, I wish I'd have known about this specific model years ago. Okay. Um, which kind of would go on to my next point of this one. I have a couple of this model, which is the Blast, and I keep it in all the vehicles. Um, I keep them, uh, like I have a bag that I keep in a vehicle. You know, people call that bag different things. Right. Um, but Absolutely. I have one in my bag that has right. emergency survival type stuff in it. It's a little bit nicer tool than the than the rev the blast is um you can feel it was built a little bit beefier but it doesn't have anything really to mention to me that this one doesn't it does have scissors yeah um it has a nicer bigger file right um which i have used a lot so every leatherman comes with with different tools i you know yeah. uh, we were talking about it earlier is every leatherman comes with a different set of tools and you kind of just buy the one that that would most likely fit your your uh -huh. application and they all have a different little design and their own little proprietary stuff um, um yeah so and you don't need to spend a ton of money I, I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on a leatherman but i think it needs to be a leatherman okay yep i i my number two would be gerber Okay. Um, I have I have a couple of nice Gerbers that I think a lot of, but I don't think they are Leatherman. Okay. Um, the saw blade, uh, it's a really nice saw. You can I mean you can tell by looking at right, it. Right, it has some it, crazy it's a, teeth. It, on it. It's it's a nice saw and it does work. Um, you could probably cut through a door if you needed to. Or... Yeah. Um, it's got uh, you know all the screwdrivers we talked about on the last tool, and then a small jewelry um, thing. You know you Ooh. pull it out and flip it between Philip and. Oh, that's sweet. Um, that's sweet. So, how much does this offering go for? Uh, um, I, I don't. I don't really want to quote it. So, you know, look right, it up on right. your own because these prices do change every day. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've probably had this specific. I bought two blasts at the same time, um, probably seven or eight years ago, somewhere in that time frame. They were probably sixty-ish. Okay. A piece, right. and I think that kind of contradictive that I would say both of these are the best bang for the buck but well yeah because this has some tools that um, on it that you're not going to use every day but you would eventually use them yep um, but I, I think it's a great tool and then uh, one thing that it also has that I'll mention that I've used once or twice is the scissors right um, yeah they definitely work they're not they don't like uh, you know fold Full over or when you go to cut something they, they work um, I really like it. Um, if you're in the market for one, I think it has to be a Leatherman. Okay. It, it, sh it should be. I wouldn't tell you not to get a Gerber. Right. But I think, let's say, if you were to scale it for five dollars more per model, you could get a Leatherman. Right. And and I, I think you're getting. Uh, and then your Gerber's got a great warranty, um, but I think you're getting it tougher tool if you had i wish i had a gerber with me and i don't but you can tell when you handle it that this is a much beefier right um tool i will say they are sensitive to rust okay um so you got to keep them oiled so and, you can and take care of you can see residual yep i mean you can take any type of household oil that you might have i i mean i keep a bottle of three in one and every couple months i lay all my pocket knives out um and Leatherman's and Gerber's out and I go through and just put a drop at all the hinge points, work it a few times and done. And then put it back in. So a little bit of preventative maintenance yeah. go a long way with yeah. these bad boys. Definitely, definitely put some oil on it. And, and then one more thing to mention, if, I mean, if you really were ever need it, it does have a nice ruler oh. um, on yep. the sides. Cool. But if I could, if, if I could go back in time you buy the rev i think i'd have just bought a bunch of these yeah they're um, pretty darn good i mean i'm pretty impressed with uh because in, in my opinion what you need this for is the, the needle nose pliers and the screwdrivers you yep. just covered a lot of ground with something you can keep in your pocket yeah totally agree you know i keep one and i keep there's been times a lot of times where i've kept a similar leatherman to this in my pocket at work or uh 
So it's got multiple uses. I mean, you, yeah. could, you could use it for a multi-use to keep in your pocket all the time. You could throw it in your tool bag. Um, it's definitely going to withstand the test of time. I know from experience that these um, do hold up and, and, and they're awesome. Yeah. Um, it, it's just something to more round out your toolkit and uh, you know have the, have the ability to do a couple little extra things with the same tool and not have to go chasing something else out of your tool bag. Yeah. I like the history behind Leatherman. If you've never looked it up and read their, the, um, I don't know the man's name, but if you've never looked at the history, read his history, it is cool. He he was he came from like basically nothing, and he invented this tool in his basement or garage one day. Um, and the next problem was, and this was like mid '80s. Don't quote me. Look it up. It's a cool story. Just takes a minute to read. Um, he, he, he made this tool at home one day and uh, the next problem was is like, yes, this is great. It is awesome. This is going to be a game changer. Well, he didn't have the means to mass produce them. So he went to several different major manufacturers and one that stands out the most to me was Stanley. Okay. Yeah. And back in the mid 80s, Stanley was, well, they've always been big. They, he went to Stanley and they were like, no, no, we're, we're not, we're not interested in, you know, mass producing these for you. And he went on and on and on, and then, you know, a couple years later, he had made millions of them, and right, and then a manufacturer got back a hold of him and wanted it, right, and he was like, no way, not a chance. Yeah, cool. I so, like Leatherman. Yeah, heck yeah. All right, so yeah, Aaron. Aaron brings a couple points. Um, see, he owns a lot more uh, multi-use kind of Leathermans. Uh, mm -hmm. not, well, they're all multi-use, but um, some of the more practical Leathermans. The only Leatherman I own is a more tactical version. So, uh, mine's a, a Leatherman Mutt. If you are a first-time homeowner or uh, you are looking into it, uh, this is more of a tactical kind of thing. Uh, if you're if you're that kind of guy, the Leatherman Mutt is out there. Although you know, t two times more expensive. Uh, th there are tons of options out there. If you haven't checked out Leatherman, I'll put a link to their website in the description. Go check out the history because now I'm uh, I'm curious about it, and uh, I'm sure that other people are going to be looking at it as well. And look at the different options that Leatherman has to offer. I think they're definitely something that you should incorporate. They have a lot of options. I I mean, I venture to say hundreds. Oh good. Of different yeah. configurations of. Right, because every single version is different. You yeah. just come out with something that's more niche for that person and this person. Yeah, the model we were looking at in the store earlier. Right. Um, the Sidekick. Yeah. The one that was spring-loaded. Spring yeah, it had spring-loaded handles, so when you let off, let your grip off, it come back open. And it was like maybe $20 more, and it had a, a nice nylon sheath. Right. And I think it had a saw. And this one didn't. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. But yeah. Cool. I'll put a link uh, uh, to the Leathermans that we're looking at um, in the description below. Um, go, uh, go over and check them out. Um, it's definitely something I put in my toolkit. And um, thanks, Aaron, for explaining uh, exactly why you'd recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, we're doing all kinds of man stuff around the channel. And we have manly men uh, on the channel as well. Uh, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Click subscribe if you like our content. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna take my gun out. Yeah, that's I'm already live. Unprofessional. unprofessional, you know what I mean? <laughs> I swear you uh, You ready to rock? You ready to rock? Let's do this. Let's um, kick it like a white boy ain't never kicked it.